Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. It's been a little while since I did a video, but I finally found time and peace of mind to make one. I have a few finished objects to share with you. And yes, life's been an emotional roller coaster the last two weeks. And I'll give you a bit of an update at the end if you're interested. So, first off the ranks for finished objects is my bod had a palooza from one, two, three weeks ago. I finished it. There wasn't one the following, and this week's is big chunky yarn, and I didn't feel like making that one. So, from three weeks ago, and I checked my notes, I don't think I wrote down which tutorial it was. But um, but, um, you can check out the description box below. There'll be a link to this tutorial in the description box below. I know it's half double, uh, half double knotted crochet. I think that's what it was. And this was the hat. It turned out really well. So the yarn I used was a local yarn, Motivira Feral Anti-Pilling. I think it's discontinued now. I bought it when it was on special. It's 100% acrylic. There's no colour name on it, but it's like blues, greys and creams. And I didn't follow using the hook size that um, Crystal had. I did a four millimeter crochet hook and it does fit really well. So there you go. My bod had a palooza from three weeks ago. I think it's really nice. So that was that. Out of the um, Feral yarn, which was a hundred grams and I didn't write down, I have this much left in this color. It's really soft. It's beautiful yarn. I wish they hadn't discontinued it. I do have some in a brownie colour too. So that'll get used up from my yarn stock soon. So the other things I've made. Sorry, I have to reach over here. Just grab the box. Was Reeves asked me to make his friend. If you've been with me for a while, you would see in a previous video where I made a black voodoo doll for her. And she asked for an avocado doll like my Daniel avocado, which is over here somewhere. <laughs> and he said, can you make one and I'll send it to her because she's overseas. She's doing a design course and she wanted like the, the black voodoo doll was um, a pin cushion and she wanted the avocado as a pin cushion. So here he is. Ta -da! And I made her an avocado or for reaps. To send away it's an avocado toy it's a free pattern by Fanny toys ng there you go look there's a few hiccups in the pattern but that's I think because it's been translated to English there's some pictures on the back here where it has a tail there I didn't do a tail she didn't want the tail because she wants to stick pins in him so there he is I used um, spotlight Marvel a local yarn, um, eight ply in the two different colour greens and a bit of beigey colour. He's got artificial eyes, but I think he turned out really cute. I actually think he turned out better than Daniel Avocado over there. But there you go. I made an avocado and that'll go in the mail. While we're on the subject of the Black Voodoo doll pin cushion, this is the pattern that was given gifted to me by a subscriber. It's a voodoo doll crochet pattern by Jonas Mathis Super Amigurumi. It's this one. And when I got it, I made my pin cushion. There he is. That was that one. When I was making her, uh, Reeves' friend, black voodoo doll pin cushion, I started out, but it was too small and I hadn't finished it. So this is a whip that I found in my whip searching and rounding up. That I finally finished because I thought all it needed was eight legs and arms and some eyes. So there's the original one I made for her which was just a little small for a pin cushion for her. She wanted a bigger one and that's made out of um, Bernay cotton that I got on special at Big W or box store I guess you'd call it and it was just some scrap red I used that was left over and the buttons were from my friend Ulia, who gave me a lot of buttons. They're actually flowers under the eyes, but I thought they suited the voodoo doll really well. 
and that's all I have left. So here was a scrap project, a whip that I have finished and now I have a little black voodoo doll I can put on my stall. So they were those and if you remember and you've watched previous video about me trying out plushy yarns, I had quite a bit of plushy yarn left and I decided I would try to make something other than an amigurumi. So using the colour pink from the um, burner, from the spotlight blanket yarn that I had left over, I made a yip yip. Ah, he's quite big. There'll be a picture on you at the end because he turned out really well. I didn't use like the pink, the pattern here is yip yips. It's from Unravelry by Carissa Browning, CarissaKnits.com. This one. She uses ping pong balls with felt on for eyes. I used my um, Shuttlebug eyes pattern and made him crocheted eyes. So I have this really big yip yip and I knotted the ends of my fringe. I keep trying to pick them up with a little knot because they tend to shed and fray. But there he is. My yip yip. He's really cute. Look, it, it's still hard for me to work with the blanket yarn, but it was um, it turned out really nice, and I probably would make more yip yips with a blanket yarn. I used the Spotlight blanket yarn, like I said, and I used a five millimeter cro clover crochet hook. Um, Graham's used. I didn't weigh him. He'll go into the the yarn usage for the um, quarter. I forgot to weigh him. I'll have to weigh him. Um, and so yeah, he turned out great. I really like him. And that is the total sum of my whips. So now before I move on, I was talking about, if you can see my cuddle bug back there, having a poll on my um, community tab because there were a lot of names suggested and there was no real clear winner. So when this video goes up for 48 hours on my community tab will be a poll for you to vote on the name so I can name him. So the names that were popular were George, Gary, Gilbert, Goma and Cannon. Five names. Cannon because a lot of local people who saw him said he looks like he's made of cannonballs. And so, yes, and Canon is a camera. So he was a shutterbug, cuddlebug. So I will put the list of five names on my community tab. Please go across and vote and let's give him her name. That would be awesome. Give me something to look forward to and read. So what else have I been up to? Well, because of what's happened in my family life, I um, don't think I'll get my projects finished that I wanted to take and wear in the UK. I may get some done, I may take one with me to finish it while I'm over there. Um, serious crafting came to a dead halt last Tuesday. Um, I have done my July hooker versus hooker, but I'm going to put it in a separate video with another cowl that I've nearly finished and the deadline is approaching. But that's basically all I've been up to, easy crochet that I can do while I'm sitting around at appointments. So what was the emotional roller coaster for life? If you're just here for the crochet and crafting, thank you for stopping by. It's really great to have you on board. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the projects or at least go across to the community tab and vote on my Cuddlebug's name. So Tuesday morning, Reeves had a car accident. His car is totally right off, written off, and the airbags went off. He wasn't seriously hurt. He had a lot of blood work and tests, and we were doing okay. But maybe the car accident was fortuitous because those blood work and tests showed something wrong with his health, not related to the car accident. So there's been lots of visits for tests, doctors, scans. That's why I've been sort of knitting a bit in the car while I'm waiting around while he's in there. Until Thursday this week, it looked like it was going to be fairly serious and terminal, but it's not. It came back. Everything is good. 
except he will have to make some dramatic lifestyle changes which we've already started on and yes come tomorrow Monday he has a visit with another doctor to work out how, where he goes from here um, with thing away having to cope with everything the car his car wrecking everything running him around and he's and worrying about his health I really couldn't concentrate on any serious project um, and so that's it in, in a nutshell he will be fine um, he's just got to make some serious lifestyle changes so that as he gets older because he is 40 now um, it doesn't affect his health more and is it was quite um, yeah surprising because the car accident if he hadn't had the car accident he wouldn't have known because he wasn't ill at all no aches no pains no sickness so there you go it never hurts to have a yearly checkup um, I go to a for a yearly checkup it's called the well women's clinic and they do a heap of blood tests all sorts of things and check everything out for the year and tell me where I'm at and give me a clean bill of health or not so yeah I think um, if you don't go to the doctor often and you can afford to go at least once a year for a checkup and you're never too young or too old so there you go guys this week is getting better we're over the hump it was difficult for thing in Spain um, because you know whether he rushes home or whether he stays there we told him to stay there we would decide when the results came back and that was we're all good on Thursday so yes I'm still planning to go on holidays at the end of August um, Reeves is fine with that um, everything should be sorted and he should be on track with his health by then and if he still hasn't sorted out his car issue he'll be using my car so yeah we keep telling ourselves there are people a lot worse off than us out there and we just have to get on with it and cope. So that's it in a nutshell. Have I got anything on the horizon? Um, I noticed that there's a lot of launches for the Boggy Creek Blanket and that Mad Mimi and um, Jan the Alaskan Crafter, Laura and Jan, are doing what, uh, a make-along with a cat blanket so make sure you check that out I'll put that in the link in the description below I'd like to do that but I can't do it in their time frame and um, I yet have to decide on what project I'll take traveling with me all that sort of stalled when we had the hiccup the last fortnight okay so guys make sure you stay safe stay well get checked out if you're not and have at least one crafty day this week. Bye for now.